Are you using Philips Hue bulbs in your smart home? Would you like to have a central console to which to manage them along with everything else in your smart home? Well, stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to do this with Home Assistant and Unrate. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Run Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to manage Philips Hue bulbs with Home Assistant. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon Flash Briefing or Podcast. Please go to techbytesworunnutter.com for more information. For any items made mentioned in this episode there are affiliate links in the description if you click on these links i will get a small commission but that won't affect the price you pay for the item if you want to get notified when new content is available and has been uploaded please click on subscribe and enable notifications here's what we're going to be covering in this video and that's how to manage your phillips u bulbs with Home Assistant. First, we're gonna go over a very brief review of what the Philips Hue bulbs are. We'll talk about the required items. Then we'll see about connecting Philips Hue to Home Assistant, and then we'll see about doing some configuration. The Philips Hue bulbs are one that required a hub like you see here on the screen to work with their bulbs. It does use Zigbee, so it's possible if you've got a third-party Zigbee hub, you may well be able to tie it in, but that's gonna be something you're gonna to have to experiment with. For the purposes of what we're doing, we're gonna be going over the Philips Hue hub and then using that to connect all the Philips Hue devices. And there are buttons, they've got string lights, so you've got a little bit of everything and they've got color bulbs versus black and white. So that's a choice that you've got to work with. If you decide you want to go on the Philips Hue path, there's no right or wrong answer here. This is just one of the ones that I already happen to have and I had not been using them as much because it was a pain to have to go into that app, turn on the bulb, and it just be kind of became a disincentive and that's where Home Assistant really is going to be a big part of making things easier to use. Well, now, now as the required items, We've already touched on, we're going to be talking about the Phyllis Hue bulbs. You're going to need to have Home Assistant. I'm running mine on top of Unraid because that way I can do other things with the storage and the hard drives and all that without having to have a bunch of individual systems, which is kind of where I was ending up. So this has been a refreshing turn. So that really, at a minimum, you're going to have to have Home Assistant running on some platform. I've got it running on top of Home Assistant, and you're going to need to have at least one Philips Hue hub or bridge, however you want to refer it, and at least one bulb. When you're setting up that new account for the smart home cloud service or device, please get a copy of my smart home device account checklist you see here on the screen. This will help make sure that everything gets written down that you entered to get that account created. The form will also serve as a backup copy when you get this entered into your password manager app. And if you're not already using a password manager app, please get one now and get started. You will be subscribed to my email list in exchange for the checklist. I won't share, rent, or sell your information to anyone. In this part of the video, we're going to talk about getting Philips Hue connected with Home Assistant. But before you do that, we've got to make sure that Philips Hue is up and running. I'm already assuming at this point that you've got Philips Hue up and running, but we're going to go through a quick check just to make sure everything is working the way it should. So I've got the interface here, and just off, to, off camera, I've got one of the lights right beside me so we'll tap on that and you see the light come on over there tap it off okay we're, we seem to be good there and let's go down and we're going to dim the bulb okay all that seems to be working so that's an important step before we get too far down the path we'll switch back over here to home assistant we'll go to configuration integrations and then there's Philips Hue so we'll get it configure now what we're gonna do is just like it says in the visual we're gonna press on the button and that way we'll get it registered of what it's going to be doing and we'll say submit okay so it found it that's good so we'll click on finish then as you can see there's Philips Hue it found one device which is going to be the hub and it's got the two bulbs that we've already got registered and the one labeled recliner is the one I've moved into the studio to get that started so you really couldn't be any more straightforward than that now that we've got the Philips Hue hub or bridge whatever you want to call it connected into home assistant now we'll go over back over here into the overview page and we will tell it to edit the dashboard so we're going to add a card and we're going to do just the button we'll start with that one first and it has it came up with light recliner so that may have just been coincidental but i'm going to go to through here and that's the only one i had labeled recliner but let's go here and that would make sense because there's the stove one which is 
is turned off right now and we've got nothing else down here because sometimes they when they get put in here they're not always in alphabetical order that would be nice but i'm not going to worry about it so we'll click on save and then let's go here make it where we can get to see it a little bit easier then if we click on recliner okay it's on all right so that's you can see it going on and off and if we go over here it should on the app itself when we're clicking on the icon in home assistant then you should see state change within the app as well so that just simply says that we've got everything coordinated now that's one way of doing it but with this particular implementation you're not getting a way of dimming or brightening the bulb so let's go through here and we'll see if edit will let us do that show state i'm not going to worry about okay that one just simply is a button so now we're going to go through here and we're going to add now we're going to go light and this is where if you want the ability to make those changes to where you can raise and lower the brightness then the light card is the one you'll need to use bulb just simply assumes it has no dimming capability so okay it turns on and just like before you see the state change in the app and then we can go through here and click on thought we could click on the little dot okay we can you just had to hit it right on there and it will change here in just a bit or you can click where you want it to be in terms of brightness directly on the scale and that seems to work just fine as well and this is where you know we're starting to get enough on the screen we may want to think about how the organization occurs where the things you're monitoring such as power certain major appliances sump pumps depending if you're not part of the country where you need to have a sump pump those be on the main screen and then have either screens by room or by purpose what you want to be able to organize them by and there's no right or wrong way you can even do it by room it just as you can see with home assistant there's a lot of flexibility in being able to address this and if we go into edit and you can see history you can see when it's been turning on and turning off and you can also adjust the brightness here again no right or wrong way to do it and if we had a color bulb hey Philip Hugh like to see one if you got one available then you should have adjustments here for the color bulbs as well if you're watching this on YouTube you will see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in if this video helps you or provides value please click on that like button thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please click on subscribe now and enable notifications we'll see you in the next episode thanks for watching